Hi, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. Why don't you take a look at that over on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Scobie Books. And I am going to show you today how to work with these stunning studio Punch Studio napkins. I got these napkins on eBay with a seller whose name is We Lost It. <laughs> We lost it 110 specifically, and she has the most beautiful selection of these Punch Studio napkins. Look at these, they're just beautiful, and they're napkins. I can't use these, I can't throw them away. I have to remake them into something beautiful and permanent. So, here's what I'm going to do I found this teapot in Michael's. And naturally, I used the coupon. I think it was about two and a half dollars with the coupon. That's a steal. Now, you can't use it, but that's fine. I would not want to use this anyway. You can use a regular teapot if you've got one. The secret is when you're using one of the, the uh, porcelain teapots, this type of material, you've got to use the Zinster cover stain, which I've already put all over this. And if you're using a metal teapot, make sure you've cleaned it. You're only going to use the outside. You don't use it again. Make sure you use a metal base coat. That's all. You can go to the hardware store and ask them what to use on metal. And you don't even need to sand anymore. They can show you the top coat. I'm sorry, the base coat to use for that. So, we will need a top coat. And as always, I'm using my triple thick for the really deep, deep shine that I want on this. Obviously your napkins. We're going to need these artist's brushes, one or two. Got to have a couple of sponge brushes. Nail file, heavy, heaviest grit you can find on those. Cup of water, crucial to this project. And of course our decoupage glue. And I'll tell you how to get started. All I'll need to do is split the napkin into quarters. And an easy way to do this is take your brush and dip it in water and go right along the seam. Just get that nice and wet. I'll just do one corner so I can show you what happens. Don't separate it yet. We will separate it, but not right yet. So you go along these seams. Whoa, out of focus, sorry. And after you do that, it just comes right apart. You want to stay as close to the crease as you can. But now we've got that separated. We also want to make sure we don't have any hard edges. Same thing. Water along the edges. Pull those hard edges off. One side of the napkin, you're going to have to pick at it like that, and then the other side tends to just come right off nice and smooth. Except for this one. <laughs> you will find one side is easier than the other. Then the next step, get your fingers wet. You can dip it in your water there. Now you'll want to separate it. I get my fingers wet because it pulls the napkin apart. And these are three ply, which means you're going to have to pull away one layer and then a second layer. So that all you're left with is the one last layer. Okay. Okay, very sheer. That's what we have left. The next step is we are going to decoupage this onto the surface.
You don't have to follow the pattern. The butterflies could be facing each other. On this particular pattern, I could put them this way. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to overlap a little bit right here. And this could be a little tricky because we're going into a kind of a crevice there. But same thing, tap the artist's brush, wet artist's brush down over where you just put that napkin. And it's so sheer you can really see through this, it blends together nicely. And you may have some excess up top, that's fine. And follow this instruction around the whole piece. As you're doing the very last step, which I can see here, I, I have these two little thumbnail, the, these two little holes, like a bowling ball, so that I can hold this while I work. But I still am going to put this on a surface because the next step is to actually put this in the oven. So don't turn your oven on yet. I'm going to put a piece of aluminum foil over a shallow baking dish, just an aluminum dish pan, and I'm going to work with it sitting so that I can just lift the whole thing up and put it in the oven when I'm done. Once you go all around the piece and make sure everything's covered up, take the very heavy grit nail file and go around these edges and just clear off all of that stuff on the bottom. When you're done with that, we add the very next coat of decoupage glue to the whole surface. Be careful if you just added little pieces on, be careful not to pull those off as you're going over the whole pot. So I'm going to go over the whole pot and once again I will place it in the oven. I'm going to put it in a cold oven when it's all covered. I'll put it in a cold oven, set it to 175. That's the lowest my oven can go and when it beeps at the 175 I'll turn it off and keep it in there for about half an hour and then I'll come right back. So here's the next step. 
it'll look even better after the next step. Hopefully you found, as I did, that each step uh, it looks better and better and better. And now this is the final step. And I rave about this constantly, the triple thick. It's a very high gloss, very high gloss coat. But it's much thicker than anything out there on the market unless you use, I think it's called Poron. It's a two... Uh, part system. It's like an epoxy and it's a little, cha it's very challenging to work with really and fumey. So I'm going to add on the triple thick, let it dry and come back. That's the final step. There's our final teapot. High gloss, fully decoupaged, finished and ready to be displayed anywhere that you would like and before we go, I'd like to remind you about my book, Upcycle with Decoupage. Feel free to subscribe, ask me any questions that you'd like, leave thumbs up, comments, whatever you want, and I'll be happy to help you. I hope I was able to inspire you a little bit. My website is also called Upcycle with Decoupage. Whoops, you can check it out and see if there's any pointers on my blog that can help you. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.